Hello everyone, this is Monkle Zunky, and I'm going to be doing a Slayer Guide for Bloodvelds. Now, since the evolution of combat, a lot of people don't know exactly how to kill Bloodvelds. It has not changed much the most efficient way since before the evolution of combat. However, I just felt the need to, to show them because a lot of people actually skip the Bloodveld task and they don't know um, what a good task it actually is to do and it can be quite rewarding. So, before we actually head to the Bloodvelds, I'm just going to go over the gear and setup. Um, I want you to copy my gear and setup to the best of your abilities. However, no, if you don't have the best gear as me, I will just quickly go over some alternatives for you to wear. Um, so, the first thing you want to wear is full melee gear. You want to have a demon horn necklace if you have one, coupled with a bone crusher in your inventory. Um, wear bandos. If you don't have bandos, you can wear barrows, or you can even wear better, such as Nex armor if you wish. Um, I used Drygor rapiers. Um, if you don't have Drygor rapiers, um, they are weak to magic, so I'd recommend bringing a staff of light with magic gear if you don't have Drygors. However, if you do have Drygors, they hit extremely accurately on the blood build, so that is what you want to bring. And then, of course, just remember your Slayer Helm, and I'm wearing Ganodermic Boots because um, the Bloodvelds use a magic attack, and the Ganodermic Boots have much better magic defense than uh, Dragon Boots, which is what I normally wear. But in your inventory, you want to have a cannon. Um, a cannon is not required, yet it does help with the kills. A, it speeds them up a lot, so I would recommend to bring a cannon um, if you can. And then in your inventory, just have an extreme set if you have the Herbler level or a super set, or an overload if you really want and some super restores to pray soul split for healing and some prayer renewals as well um, slayer ring always remember that if you have completed the quest the branches of dark mirror you can use a draken's medallion if you have not completed the quest branches of dark mirror what you will have to do is teleport to edgeville um, go through the abyss and go through the blood rift in the abyss i'm not going to be showing how to do that because i don't want to go anywhere near the wilderness while wearing rapiers and bandos However, that is how you do it, so if you know where the abyss is, and you know how to go through rifts in the abyss, just go through the blood rift in the abyss, and go out of the blood altar, and it'll put you really close to the blood builds. And then, of course, cannonballs and a charming imp, of course, you cannot forget that. So, how we get to the blood builds is you teleport in the Draken's Medallion and go to the fifth option, the Meyer Ditch Laboratories. And then there's just a long tunnel that you run right through, and this brings you straight to the blood builds. If you don't have a Bone Crusher and Demon Horn Necklace, you want to be bringing a few more Super Restores as you're going to use them by Praying Soul Split most of the time. With the cannon setup, obviously a lot of the Blood Builds hit you at once, so that means you're going to have to heal a lot more than is normal. But once you get to the area with the mutated Blood Builds in them, they are not aggressive like before the evolution of combat, but you just want to stand roughly in the middle of the area and set up your cannon. Of course, the cannon is not required, but it does help speed up the task a lot. This is only one of two tasks that I actually cannon. Um, I feel like this is one of the most worth it tasks to cannon, because the drops aren't great, and the XP isn't amazing without a cannon, but it's pretty good with one. And then you just fire your cannon, and drink your extreme set, pray soul split, make sure your retaliate is on, and of course, um, you can momentum here, but if you do momentum, it would be better to bring a unicorn or a yak full of sharks, or some other type of healing, because it's going to be really hard to stay at full health if you momentum. However, that's always an option, and you can AFK a little bit as well. And just start killing the blood belts, make sure you look out for effigies, but the drops, besides the ancient effigy, um, are not very good they leave a lot to be desired so don't worry about checking the drops too much um, you're not going to miss anything basically but uh, this task does not take too long at all uh, the cannon just does work hits on the blood velds and makes them aggressive to you which is the best part so you don't have to run around the room that much you can just pretty much stand in the middle and the blood velds will come right to you so anyway, um, this is how you do the Bloodveld task in the Evolution of Combat. I just figured I would show this, since a lot of people don't seem to know about the mutated Bloodvelds. When the EOC first came out, um, the, these were not weak to melee at all, and it was a very difficult task to do and very terrible XP. However, they have since been fixed a few months ago, and it has yet again become a very worth it task to do. So anyway, good luck on your Bloodveld tasks. I hope that you gain a lot of XP and Slayer levels and such. And that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching, and farewell.